<laughs> hey people, Broken Puppet, back again, another video for you today. This one is how to draw a geisha. And uh, it's mainly just the heads, I will do a full body piece as well, but this one's kind of close up to you all the kind of uh, detail bits. Now it's uh, kind of old school traditional, but with like a new school mix, as usual. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, sure you're going to like it, talk you through line work, colouring, shading, yada yada yada. And that's uh, so yeah, enjoy. Right people, how to draw a uh, honey mask or like a demon kind of mask. To what we call it, it's going to be something kind of similar to this. And similar to this. And I think I probably might go for a bit this one. spitman has got more uh, character to the face. Now I have done a honey mask before. That was very basic. This one's a touch bit more advanced than that. But stick with it. I'm sure you're about to do it. Right, so let's just... Uh, free page here. Move some stuff out of the way. There we go. So yeah. Basically to start with, just draw like a kind of egg shape. Kind of like this, and then you want to draw a square, but slightly at an angle here. This is where the jaw is going to be. In that, and once you've got that, so you've got like the egg shape, and you want the egg kind of sitting in the square at an angle. Okay, so the egg is more pointing this way. And now, in front of the top, you want to do like an S. Bring a line from the top, curve it inwards, and curve it out that way. Now, I know this seems weird, but this is basically giving you an idea of where the face shape is. And line across like this. Do two circles, one here, one here, and the third, just here. So you've got an idea of eyes, nose, and mouth. Now, that's just basic structure. And that and I'm gonna go straight into pen for this. You know, you might want to stick with pencil first. I'm just gonna go pen because it's clearer for you to see. And that. Now to start with, we're gonna start with the nose. And that's always a good starting point with these. Now for this one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring a line out a little bit, curve around, so make a little loop, kind of like that, you see? And then what we're going to do is going to bring this down sharply, then come up quite sharply, and make a very smaller loop on that side, see, just like that, and that. And now from here, I'm just going to bring up a line, going up that way, so you're going up that nose bit, and this one I'm going to split the nose in two. So I'm going to do another line at the middle. And I'm going to bring a line around the yeah, nostril bit here. Now you want to copy the same line but just much further up and wider. And bring that down sharply like that. Just colouring that one black. And I'll do the same round here. And I'm going to join this one up. Now you don't have to but I like to join mine up. So bring that around here. Bring it up. And bring it down sharply like that. I've got a third little line here. Just a little bit. I'm not going to go too high at the moment. Now, because I want to keep the uh, bits open so I can join up properly. Now, the top bit here is going to bring the curve. And now you want the curve to be longer on the inside bit of the nose. And I'm just going to do this a couple of times. Now, this just creates like a little bump bit over the nose, just like a bit of detail. Nothing too major, but it's just a cool little feature I like to do. Now, the eyeball. Quite simple, you've got your circle, right? And what you want to do is you want to create a cool way, a cool sort of line, kind of going around it. And now you got to remember, with the eyes, you know, you don't have to do this, I like to. And on the inside, you always have this little kind of circuit bit on the inside of your eye. I like to bring this in, and create quite a big lump out of this, and curve it back to the circle shape. You can do the same on the other side as well if you want. Don't have to, I'm going to do a smaller one on that side, and that. Now what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to have like an eyebrow bit coming in and cutting over the top of it. So I'm bringing in a line, coming similar to this line we've done down the centre. So it's going to curve, and this is going to cut across the top of the eye. You see, like that. And come outwards. And that, quite simple like that. So I'm just going to quickly put in that line now. And then a bit around the eye. Now just around it, I'm going to bring this eye bit up. I'm just going to create a couple little curves here, just a few little detail bits. Just mimicking that line around there. I can bring a line around the bottom bit as well. 
And again, just bring a little line there, just put one there. And that's not necessary, it's just a little bit of extra detail, you know, it's just these little extra details that make it more advanced, you know, just little things you can do if you want to. Not things you have to. And now, uh, yeah, now underneath the nose, right, following the shape, I'm going to bring this little curve here, like this. Now this, the, this determines your lip shape. Now, with like Heine Mars and Demon Mars, they can vary. You can do a really big one under here and create like a wide lip. We can do a smaller one like I've done here, and it's got to be a lot tighter. Now this again, I'm just gonna colour in black for now. Just so that's bold. And that's so yeah, we've got that one. And now I'm gonna do the other eye. I'm gonna do it very similar on the other side. No, but we're gonna do start with just that top line. Curve in around here. Now what I'm gonna do is I get up here, I'm gonna flick this line back, and I'm gonna do the same on the other side, I think. And that. Just a little detail, you'll see as we get further up, you know, I'll do a little bit more on that. And now, the eyeball, you got to remember, you know, this bit you're not going to see quite as much. Next on this side of the eye, but we're going to do the same principle. So bring this up and around. Around here. Over right there. I'm going to have this little bump bit come down here and follow around the bottom of the eye. So it's similar to that side. And that. And then obviously on this inside bit, I'm going to have this curving down here. A little bit of a line, so you can see similar bits of the detail, but you're not going to see a lot all of it because it's going to be hidden behind the nose. And that. Now the eyes for this one, now you can always got a little choice, you can always still do like crazy eyes where you've got one eye facing one way and the other one facing the other way. And that, or you can have them both facing the same direction. For this one I'm going to have them both facing the same direction, yeah. So you just do two circular shapes. Just like that. Now this one, I'm going to do my sort of kind of signature little split. So I'm going to do a curve, go through the eye, through the middle lip, across there, through the middle lip, and then I'm going to colour in. This one I'm going to kind of half black for now. I'll look afterwards and I might colour in the rest black. But that's just like an extra bit of detail you can do in the eye. You can do a little shine as well once we get a bit further into it. Now around this part of the eyebrow here. See, I'm sticking to this kind of shape, you know, we got here. Now, this outside line is basically what I'm going to try and use as my guide for the outside of the head. So, I'm going to bring this eyebrow, I'm going to curve around that line we've done for the eyebrow bit. I'm going to bring this in. I'm going to curve it again like that. See? And I'm going to do this a couple of times, just getting slightly higher each time. So, that line's facing up like that. And that's just going to create that kind of bit of forehead almost. And that. Now I'll come further down, I'm going to go into the mouth. Now to give you an idea, you know, get your pencil and that sort of sketch a line from around the nostril. And that. And come, come out. Now you can make a big cheekbone here and dig right and right deep if you want. And that for this one, I'm not going to go too deep. I'm going to bring it in, I'm going to make a nice kind of fancy shape. I'm going to come to a point, I'm going to twist it up a little bit. Come out really wide. You know, you want to quite go, I like to go as high as, like, you know, imagine the bottom of the eye. And that. And you want to create a nice feature editor. This whole section here, you want to create a feature in this mouth. So for this one, I'm going to bring this out. I'm going to curve it. Come to a stop. I'm going to curve it again. And give it a little wiggle on the end. And I'm going to mimic that. Put a couple of lines in the, through the bit. And now, this side, you know, it's going to be... Imagine this side being similar, but you're not going to see as much because it comes to an end as it hits the cheek. So I'm going to bring this line here. comes up this way. Imagine this is going to curve around there. You're not going to see too much, you know, of the outside bit. And what I'm going to do is here, from here, I'm going to bring a nice curve that's going to come just underneath this, you know, lip bit and then join up in the centre of that mouth. Now that's going to be my guideline for that top lip in that. And now I'm going to make a box we've done and that you want to bring another line just across, right? And you want to make this quite curved, this one, and that. And what you want to try and use is this line as your guideline for like you know sort of like you know your teeth space and that and this can go down to the chin and that. now before we do the teeth bit i'm just going to draw in the uh, cheeks so you got that nice and nice and clearly for you to see so 
one wiggly bit just like that might do a few more detail bits there but you just see so you just give it a nice bit of character on that side and now the lip shape you know you can play around with you know it doesn't have to be a dead straight line and mine's not going to be but before I do that you got to decide if you want this mouth bit to be over it which I'm going to have or if you want it to be below now if it's below you're going to want this tooth you know you like the canine bits to come over if the bottom bit's higher your nose teeth to come over that top lip which is what I'm going to have so to start with all right I'm just going to draw in this uh, bottom lip bit first now you see that little curvy line we've done I'm going to create a curved lip here and this one's going to be quite simple just a straight kind of line coming across and curving there see just before we get to the edge and it's going to make that eye line underneath just like that not too fancy and that you know just quite simple and that, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have like my teeth coming up and I'm going to have a little bit of gum and that, so you just create a little bit of gum on the bottom and that's where the teeth is going to sit in now this one's going to be quite simple again it's going to come up straight like this curve back down like that and I'm going to have a similar one on this side now and obviously because the mouth bends a bit so you can always make this tooth bend out a bit more and I always like to make this one slightly bigger now you can make it the same size if you want, but I don't know why. I just like that one being a touch bit bigger on that side. And, that. and now we've got that, we can do like, you know, the inside teeth. Now, you can have them, if you have them neat, you're making one that looks serious and smart. If you've got the teeth a bit crooked, you're making one that looks evil and a bit kind of crazy. This one I'm going to have a little bit crooked, not too crooked. So I'm going to do each kind of tooth a different kind of, kind of shape or structure. So you just kind of like that. Just coming across. And now I'm going to put in that top lip shape. Now we've got the teeth in there, so I know what I'm doing with them. Now for this, I'm going to bring in this, and this a little bit here. I'm going to make it a little bit wonky. Not too wonky. When you get to that centre, you want to come down to a lower point here. And at the bottom of the lip. The top you want to come higher. And then as we go back outwards, I'm going to make this curve. I'm going to make a bump up here, so I'm going to put a tooth bit there. And just wiggle back out to the outside, like that. And now at this point, you don't necessarily have to put a very big top lip. I like to put, you know, the top lip so it shows. And then what I like to do is come up to that middle bit, you know, underneath the nose, and then have this line curve underneath. Almost to a point, and then come back up around it. And then curve this back out to touch that line, just like that. Then here, it's going to have a tooth. I'm going to have a little bit of gum come up, touching that. Coming that way, just measure on this side as well. But obviously, because it's going behind, it's going to be a little bit hidden. Some teeth, coming up like that. So, there you go, you've got the teeth. Now, the teeth bit, you know, I'm going to put a bit more extra detail further on. I'm going to come back with like a really fine line and just put a little extra line detail so you see bring out a lot more shape in these kind of places, you know, in certain places. Now here around this part of the eye, it's going to bring in this line around here. Bring this up, and kind of even so a little bit with that side, you see? Then the same similar thing. And then again underneath this one, I'm going to bring another little line, I think. Just like that. No line there. Now you see bits you can add extra detail in, you know, a lot of these, when you go more advanced with the honey maskers, the more detail the better. But make sure you have open area spaces. If it's just pure lines all place, it just looks too much. Now let me help you out with the chin here, right? Now what you want is this line to curve in a bit for this kind of one, you know, quite sharply. Then bring in a curved line, almost mimicking that lip line. You see like that. Bring it down, you know, from that corner. Curve it around. And then you want to bump it up a little bit. Bring it out this way so you come to the end here. Now here I'm just going to have this curve inwards a little bit. Now on the top here, right, this is going to show this chin has been out forwards. You know, it's just one little technique, you know, you don't have to do this. I like to. You bring it up a bit further on this side than this side. Right? And then bring that out across quite widely like that. And that just shows that bottom bit of the chin being further up. And that. And now we've done this point, if you want to kind of correct your shape a little bit, you can, like here. Just so making this little corner bit a little bit further up than I did this one. So I want this one to dip a little bit more than that. I'm going to have a curve a few times. 
you can have this curve out like that. I'm just going to sketch this in. So you see, I'm building up a lot of detail, but I'm leaving a lot of open areas. And I think that's the trick of a honey mask. You know, it's going crazy, but no the extent of crazy. In that. Now at this point, what we're going to do is get another circle and put it here. Now, to me, this is like outside cheek space. And another one further on here, which would be the ear. Now, I like to have my cheek space come up, you know, over the ear kind of thing. Now the ear come behind it. So for this one, I'm going to have a few lines. I'm going to bring some curves around. So I'm going to come to a point, go around to a point, go around there. Flick that bit out there. I'm just going to have a couple more behind it. So just there, to there, there, to there. And that, now you ain't necessarily got to do it that way, you know, it's just creating that bit so that cheek bit comes out. Now the ear, and you can do the ear a number of ways. This one I'm going to have curve around. Go back out, come up to quite to a point, I think. Curve back around and then put line on the outside. And then the inside bit of detail. So it's going to bring a line from the top, curve outwards, inwards, curve down. Flick around like that. And I'm going to put a little bit of detail on the inside. So this little line here, little line there curving up. Quite simple. Now don't worry, because I know you probably think it's looking very dimly and like less high at this point. When you put in the horns, it all comes together. And that, now these horns are going to have kind of curved inwards and then outwards. And that. Now I like to sketch these in place beforehand just so I can get an idea of where I like them to go. Because you've got to remember, the head's at an angle, but because the head's at an angle, you know, this one's going to be pointing up more, and this one's going to be pointing up a little bit more straight. And that you can sometimes make them curve dead away, depending on how much of the face is turned. This one isn't overly turned much, so I'm not going to have it facing too much outwards. And now, at this point, reinforce that line you've done here at the middle, right? And get this curve for the top of the head. And at this point, what we'll do is add the hair bit. Now, once you've got this top curve and this line, you want to bring an inner curve here, coming up to where that line touches the center bit of the head, right? And you want the same on this side. And, that. and then you want to kind of bump it up a little bit. You know, just around the edge. And that. And coming around here. Now you can create this as high or as low as you want. This one I'm going to have about this kind of height. And that. And once it gets here, we're going to have like this flicking out here in the side. So I'm just going to do some lines, just flicking out, coming down. And then I'm going to have the same bit on this bit, the inside of the face. So just get your pencil and just do nice, elegant, long lines. And that, don't go too crazy, you know, don't crazy like wiggles. Just straight, curved, nice lines. You can curve a couple of times, but just keep that curve nice and smooth. So I come back up, and that's going to draw in this line for the hair. And that's so from that center point, curving out, and down there. And then just around the edge, I'm going to bring this up and around. And then just going to bring this horn bit. Now this horn one, I'm going to create this horn quite smooth, I think. Now you can create a jagged if you want, and bring it in. Curve it back around, just like that. See, so it kind of goes to a point, curves a little bit, and curves back on itself. Now, now here on this bit, we're going to bring out. I'm not going to circulate this bit, so this bottom bit is going to be kind of empty. So come up just a bit from the side, bring up your line to a point, curve back and outwards. I'm just going to create this little circular bit just around the edge bit there, so it looks like it's kind of bumping up from the skin. Now the hair bit again, I'm going to bring this up, just there, so it goes around the back of that horn. Pump it up on the outside. Now this one's going to come out here, come up behind this ear. I like that. Now I'm going to have this bit of hair coming in here, and just flicking out. And each time I flick out, I'm going to bring that line back up again, and make it a bit wider, like that. And then bring another line. Make it a bit wider, and then bring one in. They kind of have it cross over the hair. You know, don't all have them that symmetric. You know, play around with the shape. You know, have them kind of curve in different directions. 
and then that one. It's going to join up to that bit of the ear, you see? And that, now again, you've got one this to the bottom. So go up here. Bring your line, thicken it out. Bring your line, thicken it out. Bring your line, thicken it out. And don't be afraid to sometimes have a little extra bit, just kind of flick off like a little line bit. You know, you always can add a little, a little extra hair just flying off randomly. See, just like that. You know, don't be afraid to do that. And now what I'm going to do is here, just where I have the hair up here, I'm going to have a few little lines going off of this as well. Now it's probably better to sketch out in pencil first, and that, I mean, it's going to be black, so it's not going to make a matter of a difference at the moment, because I'm going to be going over this bit. But you'll see why in a minute. And again, I'm just doing the same thing here, just bringing lines out, bringing them in wider. Bringing them out, bringing them in wider. Just until I've got enough to kind of create a few thin strands further down and Ooh the bloody hell is messaging me. Interrupting my damn video. Right. And then here we've got the bottom lip. Now I need to join this up. So if this one's gonna have its curve up curve into here. Curve up and in. Just like that. And they can create a bit more detail around these areas and that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that now. Oh, bear me one second, people. There we go. Put it on the side. Oh, one sec. All right. Sorry about that. Yeah. Some people just don't stop bringing until your bloody answer. All right now, I'm just rubbing out that pencil work. Just making some space for the detail bit. And I'm going to hit this with two different thicknesses. I'm going to use a big thickness for like the outside bits and bits I'm going to stand out ahead. And I'm going to use a really thin one to put in like little detail bits. Now you've probably seen me do this a few times and that, you know, it's quite a common thing I do in my work pictures. And that now, just another little line I'm just going to put in here. Just there. That's my average size pen. Now this one's a much thinner one, you know, I was using a 0 0.8, this one's a 0 0.05, so it's a much thinner line. Now this one just for like little detail bits, now, it's kind of hard to describe this, you kind of have to, in, in your head, like, imagine a shape, like see here, this kind of like a sausage shape. See coming down here? So I'm just going to work a line coming across there, and kind of working with that shape. So I'm going to curve here, and curve down to that line bit there, see? And then I'm going to bring a secondary line just coming off of this to the top. And again, just around here, bring this curve, following that around, just like that. And that, like around the cheekbone, see this kind of got this curve around here. So I'm going to work with this curve and join this up here. Around here. You're almost mimicking lines, you're just doing it and changing it up a little bit in certain areas. You know, and just like here, you see you've got the soft shape, I'm going to go across this brown the other way, just to kind of so that showed off that circular shape. By little curves, you just kind of get a sense of that. Same thing on the lip here, you see you've got this lip here. I want this to kind of bend around. So I'm bringing that curve to show that shape. Just putting just like random lines here and there. Nothing too OTT, just basically here and there. Now the teeth, I'm going to bring the curve up, curve around the teeth, curve back down. Just showing off that line. Bring that line up there, bring that line there. And now just a few little ones in that, you know, it's going to bring it around, just like, you know, just put the bottom of the chin. Imagine you not put it on I might black this bit out of the bottom. It's quite more sense of a uh, depth and shape. And now the horns, you know, very similar to the teeth. Bring in a nice kind of curve shape. Slightly bigger one. And one branching off here. Going down this way. Now don't feel you have to do the same both sides. 
you know, it's always fun to create them so they're not perfectly symmetric. Now you've got other little detail bits you can do, you can create like a little kind of a circular shape, so I hit, I create like a little circle and leave this a little bit open. And this will just create like a bumpy kind of skin. Just a few little bits around the bottom of this horn. Do it the other way to make hollow bits as well. And lots of little things you can do. Again, I'm just going to bring in just a few little shapes here and here. Nothing too major. And then this inside bit of the mouth, I'm just going to bring in just a kind of line pattern just around this inside bit. It doesn't really make sense, but I think it'll look good. You know, don't, feel, don't be afraid to try different things. Yeah, I quite like the way that looks. And there. Just a little line around here, around this lip bit. Not necessary, just a bit underneath this nose, just mimicking that bomb bit of shape. There we go. I think that'll do it from the detail lines. Maybe do, actually. One here. One curving up around here. One there, maybe. And then just one around this chin, I think. There you go. That'll do. Won't do too much more than that. And now we've got that. It's going to get me black. Which one does? Next one is slowly running out. Yeah, this one's working. And now, now this, I'm just going to put in some areas and solid black. Now, a lot of time I do like a big tongue inside the mouth, but because you know a lot, the inside of the mouth isn't on show, I'm just going to black this bit out for now. Now, you know, sometimes just a nice solid black area can just really create a cool look. Now, so I'm going to black this out and then I'm going to come in afterwards after I've done a few black areas and attack with my thicker liner around the outside a little bit of nose it's going to flick this in just a few of these kind of little indent areas and a few areas where like just be pitch black just like around the bottom bit of the eye maybe it's inside bit of nose you know, I'm not going crazy with it, just literally just these like little corner bits that would be dark. And, uh, I'll leave it like that for now so I can move on to the uh, thicker liner. And I'm just using my old pen again, I'm just going to make the lines a bit thicker with it. And that now I'm, the main line I'm going to do is this line just around the edge of the face. Let's so see just around here. Bulking that up. This line just underneath this eye a bit. This line down here. See, so just making that bit stand out. You know, the thicker the line, the more it stands in front because it looks like a shadow almost underneath it. So I want this eyebrow bit to sit above the eye and see how that thick line does that? It just brings it out. You know. Bottom of this cheekbone, just like the bottom bit of the nose. Yeah. So by doing this, I'm basically creating three different kind of line weights. And then these three different line weights just tell a whole different story in each little section. You know. You know, it's a minor little thing, but it's just the minor little things are always what add to your picture. You know, it just takes it from like basic to next level sometimes. I'm not going to do too much on that bottom because I'm going to black that out. Just around this bit of the jaw. And 
It's around the ear and then around the horns, I think. And now, I might as well show you a line here in case you sort of choose to do your hair differently. I'm going to do this the whole way around the horn. Because my hair is going to be like very, very dark, you know, you're not going to see much benefit really to that line around the, that bit of the horn. And that bit. Yeah, you get just like, you know, the face bit there. And then, was that the black I used? Or was that the black I used? That was the black I used. See, now I'm just going to flick in the hair. And that now I'll start from the bottom bit, it's gonna make these little lines. Remember when we've done the uh, lines to make the hair thicker? Just colour in that black or whatever hair colour you choose to do. Generally, you know, they always usually have black hair. And then once you get about halfway up this bit, just flick it out. Come down from that top bit, and again, just flick it out. Now you're going to create a little white space there. By doing the lines, it kind of tells the direction of the hair and the hair shine. And then I'm going to pick that up just a touch bit more, I think. Yeah, that's cool. And I'm going to do the same bit here. And now you want to try and curve it with that head shape. This bit just pretty much colouring this bit in bold. Now you can play around, you can do like you know line detail and that, but but it's kind of what I'm doing, I want this bit nice and solid. Black bit of hair in, and like I said, I'm just going to black this bit of the chin out. Just to create a bit of a more of a sense of 3D ness with this, so you can see like how this chin really does turn. See, it just brings that bit out. And now I've done that, I'm going to get me a grey and a light grey. Now I'm choosing tree markers and flex markers here, you know, as usual. And that, and what I'm going to do, just while putting those little bits of black, I'm just going to flick in a bit of brown, uh, grey. And then blend that out. You know, if you use some pencils, it's a bit more simple. You know, you just basically just go light to dark and blend it out. You know, water paints, you know, same kind of concept, you know. It's, it's all the same thing, you know. You can, I mean, you can achieve the exact same kind of look, you know. Medium doesn't really make too much difference. You know. But if you like these pens, you know, just check out the description. I've got some links to where you guys can get them. And that. They're a bit pricey at first, but you know, refills are cheap. So once you've got the pen, it's cheap afterwards. And then that's going to put in some grey bits, that like solid grey lines, in certain areas to make shadows. Like, see that bottom bit of the nose? I want that. Just here underneath this cheekbone. A bit there. It's a bit flicking from this side. from that side so we had that there then it's going to come in my uh, oh, blender yeah, if you get these I generally prefer using just greys to blend out I'm not a fan of blenders when it comes to the black and grey they're not necessary 
I prefer just getting a lighter grey and blending out. So again, just here, just like just creating, you know, the uh, shape here, you know, the eyebrow bit underneath. So just bringing a bit of a line underneath. As soon as I do here, I'm just going to bring this nice solid bold line around here. Darker grey, looking around here, a little around his nose, just anywhere you know you've got a bit of you see a bit of a shape, like if you see like a sausage shape, you know, just create a bit to show that shape, you know, that kind of show it off. You know, it's all about the shape. You know. Darker grey and just sell a few more shapes just like around here. I don't always feel you necessarily have to blend the shade out, sometimes a nice solid line can tell the shape even better. What I'm going to do here, just on this bit of the eye, I'm going to create a little curved line shadow across that top, just to show that that I've got a bit of sitting over the top. And I'm going to create just inside bits to be darker, not so much shadow because that skin tone will be a bit darker. You know, I always remember as well, you know, as well as shadow, sometimes skin tone can make shades. You know, like if you've got like a pink bit of skin and you see a bit that would like a uh, be a dark pink. And that sometimes putting in that darker like shade can just show that off and tell that bit of story. This top lip I'm just gonna do grey I think. I'm flicking some black on the sides of this as well. Yeah, I think I'm flicking a little bit of black. Just doing a line kind of about halfway up all the way across that bottom. A bit there. And then finally split the teeth. Now the teeth, I'm literally just, just gonna do a nice sort of line get up that center bit there. Gonna go too crazy, but you can go crazy with this particular one. I don't want to go too crazy with the teeth. You know, like I said, sometimes a nice simple line can tell the story just as good. And then this little bit of line here, just following that, you know, hair shape, and just creating a bit of shadow for each strand of hair, just for light grey. And finally, just doing these horns. Just a little bit curved there. So I'm just creating it on the inside bit and that just makes them look like they bump up a bit. Bring the line from the top. Just coming down like that. And just flicking out around there a bit. From the bottom, and just 
Look at that bomb bit. I always like to put a bit more shade around this area. And I'll do the other side. And once I've done that, it's going to grab me grey again. And just bring a little bit more around that bottom bit. And from that top bit. And let's go that blend it out. And then voila. And you have it. How to draw a honey mask. Simple, quite easy. Just takes a bit of practice, you know. If you get if you sort of like messing up a couple of times on it, it's just not looking how you want it to do. You know, don't be disheartened, you know, just there's no such thing as like a bad piece, you know, and you learn from every piece you do. You know, I have drawn hundreds and hundreds of these. And that's so I can whip these up quick. In that bit of practice, once you've done a couple of them, you'll get the hack the hang of it. And you'll be whipping these up in no time. And that so yeah. And that just to give you an example. And that, I mean this one's in black and grey. You know, that was in black and grey. And that this like a version you could do a colour, you know. What you gotta do, if you imagine where you do like the grey bits, just work in a different colour. And then what I like to do, like where the highlight be, like sometimes I work in like a different colour. See like I've got blue from the bottom. So the blue would be where your shadows are. You know, just blend your blues up, like see the blue around the bottom of the nose, around the bottom of the jaw. And where your highlights would be at the top, and then where like the white bits, just bring in, like another colour. You see like here, just brought in this like, bit like a kind of lilac kind of colour. You know, like a nice little sort of pinkish. And you can do orange, reds, browns, you can change the red bit to blue, I mean the yeah, blue bit to reds, purples. And now the horns I like to make a different colour. You know, you did the same as the teeth. I like them to have that same kind of bony texture. And that. But yeah, just play around with it, you know. I mean it's a in picture, but yeah, you get the idea. So you've got a bit of a crazy sort of face there. You know, that one's a bit more kind of evenly, I'll probably say. You know, it's a bit more wise. You see like more straighter teeth, you know, creates a bit more of a wise one. And that some of the eyes. And that one to that one. So yeah. And the broken puppet. I hope this has helped. I hope you enjoyed it. And that be many more videos to come. So yeah, subscribe, like, yada yada yada, comment, tell me what you think, what you'd like to see, and I will see you next time. Peace out.